Diverge to this road. To, yeah. That's road going to the, my place. Just a rectal goes here. <laughs> <laughs> With our friend, we have been working for now about five years, working like one family everywhere, every year, every month. Yes, yeah, it's, it's great to be back in Nairobi, the sort of the birthplace of a Winnie. We started here, you know, like five years ago, and, and all the touring that we've done in Europe, and then now to come back. Recording just with everything that we needed because we brought our own facilities. It had been discussed over a period of a few years. Um, so it seemed like this was the perfect opportunity to create a different musical setting for our third album. The pursuit and the fact that we've got here and we've brought the music back to Joseph and just seeing how well and happy he is to have us here, that's, that feels just really, really real and really rewarding. This was actually a chance for us to just get a bit closer to the roots of the music and to find out a bit more about the history and the culture. Let's step my grandfather was, was playing those ones. So I used to follow them after the school to learn in Yedwonga because I love it. It's the one who has been feeding me since I was young up to now. One is called Nyadwong. When there are many, the way I used to play them, six or seven of them, they call Nyedwonga. It's called Nyedwonga, Nyedwonga drums. We spent some time trying to find good rehearsal space and recording space and we went up into the hills. We found this kind of Rastafarian kind of like commune atmosphere run by this guy called Jar Mike where we set up with all our microphones and sound cards and we rehearsed, recorded there for two days, I think it was. As soon as we got into the space it felt like a really interesting place to record. Yeah, when he's when he's not singing, then you go to that, and then Jesse needs to just like play. They're really happy with what we're doing, and and you know, over the years we've really built up a kind of. Um, a sense of trust between us and that's taken time but you know it feels like now we're quite comfortable with where we're at.
So we travelled to Kisumu, relocated by the lake in this fantastic big house and it was just a, a brilliant place with a lot of space and a beautiful open veranda which turned into our like hang at night and our recording studio set up. Welcome to our There was nothing else really around other than little, you know, fishermen's camps that gave us a place to just kind of focus in and get into the music. school <laughs> You know, in the Luo tribe, when we do something coming from our grandparents, we usually getting that hurt like him before. You have to feel it. You'll find them giving a triol. That's which the mood come up.
Postable beer. Moonwalker. Moonwalker. Wanna try some Moonwalker? We've um, we've just been making music every night, and the whole experience has just been translating directly through the music in real time. Snare to sample. Louis is just on a bosh up. <laughs> just one man. Why does he not come and share? Like, well, no, he's, he's, up, in he's in the zone. Right? And shit, he's so. in the zone. Come with it, come with it, man. <laughs> and so I, I sat and I programmed that tune. The next morning I woke up and I just whacked the headphones straight onto the manga and bash, he just went in and, and pretty much did a one take wonder. <laughs> Travelled up to see Aya, and we actually got to see Joseph's hometown play at his local village. This is called uh, Alego. The village we are going is called Okumorengo. Right. So we are do, doing this like a festival. We were all pretty confused. We'd been sent these kind of pretty cryptic messages about needing money to buy a bull to sacrifice. This is definitely the most out there gig I think I've ever I done. I think so. it's got to be. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Drove kind of almost into the night and rolled up just as the sun was going down. He'd invited all his family and all his local village community to this party that essentially was started at about six in the evening and went all the way to six in the morning. People just crammed in bit by bit. Yeah, that was, that was really the grand climax of the trip. This is the Luo land. This is where Joseph and Charles are from. Um, this is Joseph's village. It was really interesting for us to see the real raw Natiti style, bring the Raha, that's what they say. Is, it's about celebration and happiness and pushing it higher and higher. Hello, Atisana. Where are you, mommy? Where are you? Atisana, can you come, Atisana? Oh, Atisana, Atisana, ladies, no, sorry, ladies. Are you doing some joking, some other things, yes? Atisana, welcome to the stage. This is Atisana. Yeah, thank you. Chango is like the kind of local homebrew moonshine drink. 
don't really know what it's made from. <laughs> it's best not to think about it too much. There is a changa which can auto drive the car strong enough. You can use it like a petrol. One of my favourite moments of, of the trip was like at the end of this kind of mammoth Matiti session. Charles came out. He, you know, he'd been drinking the changa all night. He just like totally ripped it. And he was totally on fire, you know. I think that it was just incredible watching the battle of the two Natiti bands. A kind of Natiti endurance test, which band can play out the other band, can play for longer, can play harder. And that was a real experience, watching those guys go through these kind of incredible trancey pain thresholds. It was pretty much a 12 solid hour battle of Natiti's. Their mates like pouring this local liquor down their throats and whilst they're still playing and, and just going and going and going and going and going. It's <laughs> traditional <laughs> little coming like the sticks are coming out. If you see people who are many to that, that, that particular player, he's the winner because he's singing well and people are happy. That's why we select the winner. I was just in awe of it, like, wow, man, like, if we could take a bit more of that energy and put it into our music, I think that would be a good thing. have been learning a lot, them and also us. Every day we're happy. We are, we are friends, we are just like a family now. This is Tom Skinner, the drum from London. My brother, Louis Slippers. Okay. The master, Joseph Nimanga, Natiti. Charles Uku, Nyodonge drums. My name is Jesse. Five years down the road, it's like we've just stuck at it and we've had so many experiences and so many laughs. I, yeah, I'm still kind of processing a lot of stuff, um, but it's, I, think it's been, I think it's been a great success listening through the music in the last couple of days. I think we've managed to capture something that's quite true to what we've discovered out here. It was a real honour to be able to bring this music back onto home soil. That was a very nice and rewarding sort of uh, feeling to just see how, how much they were enjoying bringing this music back to actually, you know, the place where it really essentially comes from. <laughs> People love it, love it, and they ask for it again. It was very good, nice one.